hello welcome to this tutorial in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to prepare an architectural plan for your structural design this is an architectural plan let me zoom in a little bit that was sent to me to design so this is the ground floor so we have some classrooms and all of that i believe this is an institutional building which is a school this is also the second floor so we have symmetry what is on the top is what is on the bottom so i want to show you how to be able to make this drawing so that you can design it using orion so quickly i want to put some grid patterns in it. i'm going to pull a line from this place to here to get the center now grids are normally from center to center so that is why we want to put that line so i'm going to make a layer on this autocad 2017 so i'm going to bring up my layer tool so i'm going to make a layer this is layer zero let me turn this off this is properties let me turn this off so i'm going to go to my new layer here so i'm going to click on layer now the line i want to be creating so i'm going to call, call it grid grid will be better so grid so i'm going to call it grid and i'm going to hit enter so i'm going to change the color that i'm going to make it a little bit visible so i'm going to choose a very bright color an eye catching color so i'm going to make it choose this particular color uh, that's close to red so now i'm going to make it current now okay we go to go so i'm going to hit on my line tool that i have so i'm going to hit on my line tool so this is my line tool here so i'm going to pick this point now my old snaps they're not turned on so i'm going to go turn them on this is my point middle and these are the only ones that i need my perpendicular so i'm going to turn them on so i'm going to go to this point now i'm going to click that point now it's created so i'm going to move to my construction line i'm going to open this drawer here now there is a construction line which is this one this is a construction line so i'm going to move it locate the center of this line and i'm going to pull down or pull if I pull down, it's going to give me a vertical line. If I pull to my left or right, it's going to give me an horizontal. So, but I want a vertical line at this point. So, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click to finish. So, it is done. So, this is it. This is my grid that has been created. And I'm going to make it nice and neat. So, when I make it nice and neat, you're going to see how it's going to look like so because it's going to be very awesome so i'm going to make another line here i'm going to make another line here i'm going to right click to finish and i'm going to go over to my construction or you can just maybe copy this this construction line just copy it just copy it to this point locate the center of this line put it there so that is it it's done so now this is the staircase that i'm doing for so i'm going to come to this point also now i already have vertical line here so i'm going to just make my construction line so i'm going to make my construction line here now this is a center so by this time around i'm going to pull i need an horizontal line so i'm going to pull this way I'll right click to finish it now this is now a panel on this my particular structure let me make one on this one also to complete to finish that of the staircase so that you can have an overview of what i'm talking about so this is it so i'm gonna pull away right click to finish now this is my staircase now so i'm make a right angle to tell you how it looks like so i'm going to pull from this point to this point so 
so this is now a circle let me change the color of that so that you can appreciate it i'm going to hit escape to clear the grid now this is it so you can just maybe make it a little bit i don't know green that's visible so this is it so this is a panel so this is how we're going to do for all others of this particular structures now i want to make it nice and make it neat i'm going to make a line here pull away so i'm going to trim this make it trim it right click and trim now make this go away raise it so i'm going to make for this one also make it nice and neat to trim it And make it go and then I'm gonna trim it make it on my trim tool I'm gonna trim it so this one goes away this one goes away I'm gonna raise all of that this one also I'm gonna raise this I'm gonna also go to trim so I'm gonna hit escape take my line tool pull from a very good distance away so i'm going to hit trim right click to select all i'm going to undo that so i'm going to right click select this and trim this and i'm going to hit e on my keyboard and enter so that goes away now you can see these grids have been created from the center of this to the center of this now after you're done you're going to move all of these little lines that you have created i'm going to hit e on my keyboard and i have to erase them so it goes up so this how we're going to create for all all the particular panel all right so this is it so we're still here so let's just make this one so that i can see what we're doing so i'm going to go to my my construction line pull this away from this point and try to locate the center is the center pull horizontally right click to finish the selection so i'm going to go over to my construction line okay now this is a column that has been created now from here to here the architects put a column some columns now each must be on a grid if not orion will not see that particular you can insert a column at that point because two grids must cross so that is where you can insert a column so i'm going to go over so make this one also put a grid there so i'm going to make this one also put a grid here now we're going to have a panel this way so at this point i want to make a panel so i'm going to have a panel here i'm going to have a panel here so I'm going to put my grid line here. So I'm going to put my grid here. I'm going to put straight. So from here to here, like this, becomes a panel. This becomes a panel. So that is just the aim of putting all of this grid. So we have this point, this part also. Now we have this lobby. So we're going to separate this lobby. Then there's a column here also. So I'm going to go over to my construction line pull to the horizontal right click to finish that selection now this point i need is a, a small line here to create this point put a small line right click hit enter and also go over to my construction line take my construction line pull vertically to get this line so i'm going to hit e on my key to erase that now this point have also one this panel this now forms a panel so i'm going to hit a line here put a line here now make a small line right click finish a selection now look for my construction line pick a construction line now pull horizontally because we want this this panel is going to be horizontal now the aim of putting this lines is to find the center because each grid must be at the center of the wall this to this is the wall that you are having 
So there's a two to five wall. So when we import to Ryan, you're going to see how it's going to come out and we'll then we're going to insert a particular grid. So I'm going to go over to my construction line, put my construction line here, then also erase this little line he erased there. So it goes out. Now we are done with all of our grid line. So we want to make all to look beautiful the way this particular one is so i'm going to go over to my line to make sure it's straight pick from there also make this one also to this other part and also find a point here not too far away also pull backwards and also this i'm going to make another line here now if you want to trim so that the grids will not be just scattered everywhere so on my autocad i'm going to hit trim now is it select all i'm going to say yes right click to select all so i'm going to open the crossing window just to be make it fast so i'm going to hit and all goes away this one also i'm going to hit also all goes away this one also i'm going to open the crossing window make sure all is in the crossing window and also so and so make a crossing window and trim now this is the structure we want to import so i'm going to right click enter to finish a selection then this other lines i'm going to hit e on my keyboard erase them and also erase this one and also press enter erase this one all right click and that is done so this is it so i'm going to make all this line goes away all this go away so now this is our structure we have prepared to be imported into AutoCAD for structural design and analysis now these grids they are crossing each other now you can also make this to be on the same line just like this make sure just trim them and make sure they are nice and okay so i'm gonna write tr it's a command i right click click on this one move them away make sure all is trim so right click and delete this now it looks a little bit cool there so i'm gonna move all the of this then i'm gonna take another line make sure this one is neat also let's make it neat make it neat i'm gonna type tr on my keyboard and uh, to select all and the cross the window and delete so i'm gonna delete it so now it looks pretty very cool here now so there are a lot of lines here so i'm gonna make panels now so i'm gonna go over hit new and i'm gonna type in panel and also hit anna and i'm gonna make that to become so i'm gonna eat on my square now from the center here i'm gonna pull away to this point i'm gonna make it yellow so that it's visible i'm gonna make that also for all of the panels so that you can appreciate it so i'm gonna make this this is one panel make this one also this is another panel i'm gonna make this one also this becomes another panel i'm just trying to show you why we are having the grid so when we import into orion so you're going to appreciate what we have done so far now i'm going to delete this and delete this so I'm going to make it again because the panel is not where it's supposed to be so I'm going to pull this this is the panel so then this becomes another panel this becomes another panel so this becomes another panel this becomes another panel make this it becomes one panel for the lobby and we have another panel 
for the lobby also here comes another panel so we have this also becomes this becomes one panel this becomes one panel now we have this this becomes the panel and now we're gonna save save it now i'm gonna turn on this grid so that you can see the panel system arrangement so i'm gonna go to grid turn it off now these are the panels and the structure that we have now let me zoom in a little bit so this becomes a panel and this other one becomes a panel let me turn this off so that you can see what we're doing so these are the panel system that we have in the structure so these panels these are one panel this is a panel this is a panel there means a beam will run here a beam will run here and a beam will run here this also a beam will run and also the other beams will run and is to make sure this is now let me bring back my grid lines so these are the grid lines they are back now now you might as well this is not useful so we're gonna delete everything in this folder e enter i'm gonna delete everything make sure all is deleted i'm gonna delete everything make sure it's deleted so now i'm gonna save this drawing as a dxf so i'm gonna go to save as i'm gonna hit on my autocad icon then i'm gonna go to save as i'm gonna go to order formats these are all the structures i've saved so i'm gonna pull this i'm gonna go to dxl 2010 so i'm gonna save it as dxf now this dxf is the file that Orion and unstructural software they use so that's why we are saving it in DXF so I'm gonna hit save now we have saved a file in DXF now you can see it's a dot DXF file now so this file is ready to be imported so I'm gonna say I want to close this I'm gonna say close it said you want to save format in DWG I'm gonna say no I say no that is it guys now to to prepare your structures for Orion see you in the next tutorial